Hey guys, Ryu here with not a bit for Blender and this one we're gonna be chilling with box cutter and hard ops after the crazy Black Friday event. So just before we start guys, we on Patreon as Blender Bros together with Josh. So if you would like to support us, check the link in the video description. There are really cool things coming this month to Patreon. Uh, there's gonna be an amazing uh, vanilla and add-on course uh, for the tier 3 uh, really cool decal park and tons of critiques uh, so you know a lot of chances to learn something new and interesting thank you so much to everyone who's supporting us see you on patreon let's grab this and curve extract it and let's select everything and apply scale well that didn't go well so we're going to select this one and we're going to solidify it down there we go and then scale it just a little bit on y in fact you know we can cut it so um let's just go to orthographic and um shift v view and go to end gun cut we in end gun cut perfect so let's just think uh let's cut let's cut like this all right Let's make it uh, asymmetrical. That's one, and symmetrize it to the other side. So it's asymmetrical vertically, and then we're going to create some notches here. So let's select this face and Control Q. And if that doesn't work, means we don't have the shortcut assigned. We need to go to uh, ST3 operations, align to view, right click, assign shortcut, control Q, control Q, click, and we're going to move it up like this, maybe, or actually downwards like this, and then click, and then switch to a box and slice it. Awesome. We could actually repeat this in the bottom as well, uh, you know, so um, go down like this and maybe make it a little bit differently uh, so cut it differently so there's a difference right not so boring okay so that's that and we will need some kind of uh you know interesting things in here so we're going to grab that and maybe solidify this not y sorry uh, my bad x t and solidify this uh, should do and we're going to um, mirror this across this big plate uh, in all directions and that didn't work well so tell you what we're going to copy this mm, select this and select everything and then shift D Z and move it down here there you go okay Perfect. So how are we looking? We're looking pretty good. Let's just drop a bevel here. In fact, drop two bevels. So select both of them and just drop a bevel. Press one to introduce some profile, and then uh, go to operations and alt click on sharp. And what's the bevel here like? It's a little bit too small, I think. So let's make it a bit bigger. There we go. Cool. So that's that. Now, what I want to do is uh, round these edges here. So select, uh, we need to apply this. So let's apply the modifiers and let's select this. And this is mirrored, right? So we can do is select this and this and simply mirror this. I mean, bevel this a little bit and then mirror across. And then we're going to select these, right? and move them in a bit okay and then have some fun with these buggers right so control b and chamfer them awesome also let's save it because blender and now we need some something in the background right so let's see let's uh grab these and slice them in fact you know what we could do it from this side so the mirror goes from from the same side always right this right 
so something like this in fact you know what we could uh, we could uh, hmm yeah how about we're gonna recall this and I want to taper this but uh, taper it this way would be cool if you actually could taper this uh, uh, you know uh, um, either way I, I can't remember if you can or cannot I'm too tired to think so that will do and yeah this is pretty cool we can copy to the other side shift to how we're looking we're looking peachy also we lost our cavity so let's get it back nice yeah this one is a little bit too close so in fact you know what i could do is move it inside a bit so either move it in here or move it outside maybe you could do something like this this could be interesting as well actually yeah this is pretty cool i like it all right so that's that we need some kind of uh you know um connecting mechanism in here or like it's kind of like you know um sort of let me just cut it in notches or whatnot let's share for this a little bit like that and let's apply this and let's grab this cutter actually and go to side view and let me think now what we could do is we could write you know a run an angle on here like this right so uh, something like this and then simply copy this to the to the bottom cool and then simply you know uh, mirror to the other side peachy and that will do that will do and uh we can still create um sort of like i don't know bolts or whatnot so circle orthographic and you know this should be in the middle technically so we could go with this grid but i can't be bothered with grid so i'm just gonna eyeball this and do something like this so let's grab this uh, circle go to edit shift dz and drop it in here shift dz drop it in here shift dz and drop it in here and this should be interesting so now we're going to apply this right so operations and smart apply we're going to select this shift g parameter right whoops that didn't work okay fine so let's go call planar or call planner uh where is this thing there we go that's the one g y and move it oh you bastard okay fine fine i'm gonna do it manually g y and move it out and sort of you know do something like this and and you know copy this on both sides right awesome so in fact this doesn't make any bloody sense uh, this should be this shouldn't be mirrored to the other side because if they gonna be you know sort of uh assembled right um the the top should be i mean the left side should be mirrored but not the right side because if the left side is actually going in to the left side right this should be um these bolts in fact should be bigger or something so they're gonna you know sort of uh um you can insert this uh, other bit inside here. So uh, we're going to go to individual origins and scale them like this and then insert them a little bit. Oh, just these ones, right? So one more time. And then insert them just a little bit and extrude them. And there you go. That makes more sense right so maybe it's a little bit too thin so insert it yeah there we go and something like that perfect okay so that makes more sense so now let's talk about this one here uh, let's create some two more notches in here and t 
that's pretty cool that's too big it's to be narrow like that and then we're going to copy this to the other side and then we're going to uh, smart apply it and bring it up so G Z and chamfer this okay perfect so they kind of fit like that you know awesome and now we need to do something with this because it's a bit boring so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the uh the end on right and we're gonna run something like this here uh with a t uh let's turn this off so now what we're gonna do is we're simply going to draw a shape here with with this end on click and extrude it out and then we're going to shift D and rotate it holding control and they connect it in the middle right and we're gonna bring them to local and then we're gonna grab a cylinder so uh cylinder <coughs> and make it maybe 50 46 ry90 and go to top view and sharpen let's make it narrower okay move it here select all these three and select everything in fact you know what i think i might actually like when this circle is a little bit thicker than the than the beams i think it's gonna make sense so we're gonna grab all of them and boolean union and then smart apply and then we're gonna bring it to local and clean it with machine tools and bevel this right now i'm gonna apply weighted normals and we're gonna fix this so it's a little bit too you know too thick so uh we're going to make it a bit more narrow and also remove this cutter and let me see this now remove this cutter as well there we go and this one is to go underneath so g uh let me just see this right and this panel is gonna go in front so somewhere here right okay perfect and then let's grab this circle whoa Let's grab this circle that's in the middle. So, shift to this one. Come on. This one, right? Alt Z, and then cut this difference. So we can see the inside of this. Why is it not showing? Oh, there it is. Perfect, right? Awesome. So. You can do something like this right and select this face and just basically scale it out like this and then scale it in awesome so shift to nice and then we need to take care of these beams right because they're a little bit too big so what we're gonna do is select this uh, uh, all these faces right we're going to control curve extract them so we're gonna get this plane right G X move it in here and now we're going to uh, flatten this with machine so flatten that didn't work um, fine so we're going to select these verts select these verts select this one go to top view alt a and right and then we're going to simply copy this to the other side you don't need these lines so delete them delete them delete them and copy and then we're going to simply extrude this out right and now what i want to do is uh in fact we can extrude it a little bit more so here and delete this and delete this whoa apply the mirror so sharpen awesome and then uh, let's move it in here like that and select this one and we're going to slash it and then we can just remove this boom right so we end up with these we're gonna have to fix this a little bit though 
because I think, wait a minute, there's one problem here. We need to remove this bully, uh, bevel from this one. Uh, there we go. That's the problem. So select this, uh, select this, and slash. And this should work perfect. All right. So that's that. And uh, that will do. So we got these going on. And this is this needs to be mirrored to the other side, right? So there we go, like that. Okay, awesome. And we got this structure in here, so we could just, you know, do something cool in here, like this. Or actually, we could, you know, scale it in, like this. And GX, move it in. Awesome. Cool. And, uh, that will do now. Let's well, let's grab these, right? <clears throat> and let's introduce some fun here. So let's grab a line box, and in fact, we can bevel this and and um, array this. So we're gonna do something like this: bevel this, uh, like this, and then we're gonna array this, like this. Okay, perfect. And then we're gonna recall this this one, right? And we need to move it to the middle because it's not in the middle. And copy down. Awesome. So now we got these things going on. Can see them, right? So we need to create some indentations here so we can see them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab an angle on again and turn off this cyclic and do something like this, but you know, less insane, right? So one more time here and here. And well, this is what I wanted. I wanted to cut it. There we go. Okay, like this. And let me see. Let me see now. Um, I don't like it. Nope, I don't. So let's go by circle, see with the circle. This could be much more interesting, actually. Let's grab. Uh, we can't copy this down down I mean we cannot mirror this because it's asymmetrical so what we need to do is grab this circle and and do something like this right perfect okay awesome and this could be a little bit uh, you know more into maybe somewhere here maybe smaller or bigger mm. Maybe smaller would make more sense. Make it somewhere, move it somewhere here. Maybe this is enough. And we could just, you know, um, create like a simple cut in here or something. You know, just in the top and maybe, you know, two on the bottom and Bob Janko sharpen. And we're done. Now we kind of cool. There is some issue here, so Wait, normals, and if this doesn't work, we get some beef in here. So let's run sharpens. And if this didn't, doesn't fix it, it means we got some problem here with the wall uh, being crooked. So let's select everything and go S Y zero. Boom. Uh, simply, uh, this the walls were not straight. S Y zero and here, same thing. S Y zero. There we go. That fix it. The side is fine. Okay, cool. So let's save it. Okay, so now we can uh, actually add some decals to it, right? We could add some cables or whatnot underneath. You know, some kind of piping. Or something so select this and um, run a cut in here so go to box and maybe run a cut in here like this block uh, the blender is slowing down again Something like this, maybe. And move it to the other side. 
Okay, we're gonna do it manually then. So, R to rotate it, slash it, and then let's bring it to local and recall this. Then apply rotation, and then simply array this. So, right like this, and just add some more of these downwards like that shift two there we go awesome that's pretty cool now let's grab this and sharpen this and then well this is not the ideal situation so before we do that actually um let's uh, run a line here so let's cut it with a knife like this okay so k and knife and this should fix all the shading problems so now let's apply this and alt x symmetry and oh we can't do the symmetry god damn it i forgot about it fine i'm gonna run a knife on the other side too so Run the knife here too. Somewhere here. Come on, Blender. Work with me. There we go. So now we can not camera. When I'm going to sharpen this, everything should be nice and peachy. Okay, so now let's grab these uh, elements inside. Wait a minute. These ones only, right? So Shift G and parameter. Right, good. Go to front view and just remove this, and the rest is fine. Include this one and include this one, and we're going to scale it on individual origins, right, like that, and on z axis. Oh, that will not work. Okay, fine. And this one's gonna get mingled, probably. Let me see what happened here. Mm. Oh, this 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 bugger got mirrored on the top for some weird reason. So we need to remove this mirror. Where is this mirror here? Ah, oh, we mirrored this one. Oh, Chihuahua. Let's run a knife here, and then remove these two edges. In fact, remove all of them. Oh, there we go. Faces, faces, remove vertices, remove vertices, remove vertices, and here, whoa, and here, what we're gonna do is simply connect them to this edge and clean it. Done, right? And then select all these and close them with the face and it should be fine and s z0 and then we can we can't mirror this unfortunately because of this right so we need to clean the same thing on the other side Right, and we don't need these, so remove them. Okay, cleaned. Jesus, that was a lot of work. A uh, wall panel with some issues on top, I see. Oh, Jesus Christ, what's going on here? Um, let me just go to lock over this thing. Uh, let's remove this and dissolve edges and combine these and what is going on here man there we go and combine this and sort it right and this should not be sharp so um, um mark sharp there we go and same here oh here is fine so we good not the cleanest geo but you know no one no one really cares i don't know what's this 
some immigrant, illegal immigrant. Done. Um, right, so now probably, you know, we good time to texture this thing. So let's say I'm going to go with uh, Ketops. So let's grab a Grime here. So other and Grime. Let's go to Eevee and let's go to this material this is probably should be concrete i suppose you know um that's my idea of it but something like this maybe you know concrete maybe i don't know this should be definitely steel right so um metal and dirty steel or st st steel in distress dirty steel should be fine boom right and there you go there's some nasty pull in here. Wonder what's causing it. Three with machine that didn't clean it. So let's run a knife here. This could be caused by these two edges. Let's see if it's gonna fix this. Bingo. So there you go. And this looks good to me. Of course we could just add some dirt to it, so we're gonna go to asset loader and go to dirty up as cheap likes to call it dirty up <laughs> i really like the way he says this. it's so cool anyway so um what i'm doing uh go to shader editor and let's press shift a and group and dirty up and boom and then we're gonna simply copy this right to this one and to this one bingo we could actually make it dirtier so sort of you know or go up and down or whatever um dirt height boom right make everything dirty because we like it dirty, don't we? Oh, there you go. That's a one hell of a smudged wall. You know these beams, you know? They could be actually uh, yellow. So, um, other. Right. Add material. And then... Uh, dirty up. And just bring it up yeah there we go that's better oh yeah that's pretty cool i like that that's awesome and now we could just have some fun with decals you know because this is a little bit um boring right so we could have some fun here with for example um emissive decals that's what i want to say make them smaller so the scale is you know bigger put them somewhere here and Come on. What? Select this and reset mirror. There we go. So that's that. And what the hell happened to my... Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. wait. There we go. Bloody hell, this mirror, man. If it's on symmetry, it's going to cause you grief. So reset it. This could use some oomph. Yeah. So we could grab some screws. My favorite screws for my pack. I love them. They actually were based on the Master Zeon inset pack. I really like this pack, so you know. And then we're gonna go to hard ops, and we could actually use this um, um, array with control around the cursor, so and you know, increase the number of them and select this shift f with uh, instamat and simply copy uh, so we get these dark screws awesome and then we're gonna do something in the middle so um, let's see um, hmm. this could be interesting maybe so the way usually i handle this is uh, go here shift s cursor to face d 
this to cursor then project it and by the way guys if you get problems i'm in 2.92 if you get problems with um decal machine giving you grief with um projecting you need to update your decal machine to 2.1 and everything is going to be peachy awesome and then uh, we're going to just drop some you know additional and notches in here maybe from my favorite park this park is so cool man this aussie guy man i love this park it's so good um i wish i could uh whoa lights on the bottom so this one on the top so like this in fact you know what let's make them yellow so shift f and so what we can do here right is we can split it so we can uh get the in, in interior yellow right but the exterior we can match to um to the uh to the base so so like these these are like these right and boom and you got the dark inside it takes a while and a yellow inside we need orthographic so we need to switch there you go it looks awesome right see what i mean decals baby that's where it's hidden okay so next thing what we can do is make it japanese japanese I'm gonna grab some of my japanese decals and this one is good Anson daichi this sign is on every single construction in Japan, means safety first. Kind of erotic if you think about it. So, mm, oh shit, um, it's called Aero Sci-Fi. Um, let's project it, and we're gonna do some magic with this one. So we're gonna go here, and we're going to not do this one, but we're going to do this one. We're gonna drop the alpha and blend it with the surface maybe it's blended too well um, there you go okay that should do it's a little bit too strong there we go okay nice you know these uh, bright lights you know they annoy me I'm gonna change them they don't fit so I'm going to change them to these ones. They make more sense. They kind of... Uh, these are the only decals I actually baked with the... Uh, with this glow. I forgot what it's called. But it takes bloody ages to bake. But... Um, um, it's actually worth it. Uh, because they look much better. So let me see what I'm going to put them. Uh, maybe, you know... I'm going to put them somewhere here. And make it bigger. Maybe somewhere here. Oh, make it really small. And put it somewhere here. Closer, maybe here. And project it. And then we're going to match it with this one. So Shift F and Tools. And match the outer exterior only. Yeah, that will do. So select this one and copy to the other side. Boom. Yeah, that's much better. See, now it fits. Awesome. So we're not done yet, guys. So we can still have some fun here. So let's go back to Aussie Park and maybe grab these. These are awesome. Man, this park is so cool. I mean, this is a really well done park. I think it's my favorite park I bought on, on Gumroad in terms of idea and execution really well done so we're gonna make them yellow as well so shift f and tools copy master decals and copy everything and make them all yellow in fact we cannot make them all yellow we need to make them um the exterior needs to be dark otherwise it's not gonna fit you see so shift f tools copy and Turn off subset and boom, there you go. Now it looks proper, yeah? Awesome. So that's that. And we're good to go. And also, let's apply rotation. Uh, that's cool. 
Okay, and um, what else we can do here? <clears throat> we could add some screws around as well. So maybe go to the other OZ pack and see what we got here. That's not the OZ pack. Where's my OZ pack here? OZ man, if you're there, give me a shout, mate, because I wanna, I wanna uh, endorse your stuff properly. You know what I mean? Um. Hmm. These ones are cool. So we could just, you know, sort of uh, drop some notches in here. Maybe this is gonna be too much detail in one area, to be honest. Um. We could sort of drop them here and make them smaller like this. So drop one here and then one here. And then simply project them. And then mirror them across everywhere. And um, shift F tools, copy materials, clone this one and then um, select again. Shift F tools, copy, and then I wish there was a function where you can actually specify both maps at the same time, so you don't have to do it twice. But you know, there you go. So I think this would be it, guys. I mean, it's, you know, it's more than enough. Um, this could be some kind of a um, still feature in here, I'm suppose. So maybe some kind of a notch, you know, like this, right? Like a small one. This small element, right? That's they really, you know. Uh, bring this stuff together so uh, project it right and then assign it tools I mean I love these add-ons man it's just pleasure to work with honestly Oliver has done a fantastic Oliver has done a fantastic fantastic job on the on the instamart I mean I, I I just cannot get in a oh shit that didn't work well wait a minute I think they we cannot copy them across like this. We can only copy them across here. And then what we can do, see, it's a little bit of a trick. Go to edit mode, select everything, and then shift D and Z and move them manually because they're on the same height, yeah? They just simply on a different, in different position. We can make them smaller too, see? And then G, uh, G, Y and move them in. And uh, S, Z and you know get a smaller one here on the top see those tiny elements to actually you know um, really make a difference right so you can't you can barely see them but they break a surface and it's actually visible so here too we could have some notches i mean you could just keep adding details you know important is not to really overdo it too much but we could have some clamps in here as well so adjust do something like this and, you know drop one in here and then drop one on the bottom and then over there and then simply make them mm, make them dark so select this one and this one in shift f tools copy materials and boom right pop your uncle okay so this will be my Whoa, what happened here? We lost the mat. Shift F, tools, copy mats. Boom. There we go. That's better. What the hell? Um, Shift F, tools, copy mats. Fascinating. Why did we lose the materials? Um... Strange. Look at that. We are losing mats. Mm. That's some bug. I'm gonna send it to Oliver. Oliver, have a look, mate, because uh, there's something wrong with the. It's either a um, decal machine fucking up or some something with the 2.92, maybe. Have a look, mate, because you see what's happening, right? When I assign one material. I'm gonna select them all of them. Let me see that. Tools, copy mods, boom. You see this one get deselected. So let's select all of them. But they shouldn't be happening, right? 
so something is not right here so select all of them and select this and shift f and tools and copy mods and boom and blender crushed so now let's try the power uh, the how useful the power safe is compliments of, of bone journal 7 there you go that's why i don't have any more stress modeling because i literally don't care if my blender crushes because i know that everything is gonna be all right boom right we good now i think we're good okay all right guys well i think that's it uh, all the links to add-ons like box cutter hard ops uh key tops you know ev materials instamod and deco machine are in the video description so if you need to buy them go for it you're not gonna regret it did we lose a bevel here no we haven't and uh you know thanks for watching catch you next video guys